What's going on, guys? All right, so your Apex Legends is crashing. You're stuttering. You're getting lag when you're dropping. Um, you're running across the field, and you're going real slow, and then you zip back 20, 30 feet. Uh, people shoot you. You die. Um, Apex just completely closes down, leaves you at your desktop with no error, um, or it freezes. It boots you out and you get an error and it says something like exception right error failed 000 ex blah 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 a bunch of jargon all right i'm gonna show you how to fix that very very quickly okay so coming into here i'm gonna move this over here okay so number one thing to do origins make sure you're running this as administrator I say that in all my videos but i'm gonna boot up origin Come on, boot up here. All right, Apex Legends, click on that little disc here, settings, game properties, advanced launch options. Okay, so in here, this is a biggie, plus frames per second, underscore max 85. So I can run 120, 140, 150 in Apex Legends. I've got a good computer and graphics card, but I am maxing it to 85. I find if I go above 85, it's crashing. Um, that could be due to NVIDIA drivers. Um, could be updates or software config issues. Could be on Apex side because a lot of people are having the issues, especially with NVIDIA drivers. So definitely try that until we have a better driver or better update from Apex. I would be running this. Uh, if there is an update, try upping it and see if you get the crashes, if you get them drop back down to 85. Some people run 75. Uh, I'm running a little bit higher and I might get the odd crash here and there, but um, I believe it's worth it for the trade-off. So that's that. I will close that down. The other option, or not option, but thing to do is when you boot up Apex, I'll show you this. A lot of people don't know about the hidden or secret buttons in Apex. <laughs> Come on, Apex. So what we're going to do is don't click anything. I know you want to click continue, or click into the game. Don't do that. Um, go do something else. Hit your Windows key like this. Come back here um, and do something else, <laughs> anything else. Um, if I minimize this. Let me just click on something so you guys can see here. There. Okay. So, yeah. Get out of your Agario. I have... Or Agario, sorry. Um, Apex. Let's see. Alright. Let me check it. So what you want to do is you have exit to desktop, you have accessibility options, and there's nothing here. We want a button here to appear. So I'm going to click on here and go cancel. And there's data center appeared. So you do have to wait. If it's not there, just keep clicking here, cancel. Um, it takes about 30 to 60 seconds for it to appear. But once it appears, click on data center. As you can see, I'm already on Iowa. I've already set this up today. Uh, but you can look at all the pings here. Make sure you're not on a slow ping. And Apex will throw you into a random server, and you might have 244 ping. Uh, and, and that's not great. That's going to cause lag. It's going to be slow for you. So definitely pick something that's good. So if I look here, I can choose that one. Or three. I play in three a lot for Iowa. That's the fastest ping for me. So once you're done that, then you click on continue. And you go in. I'm not going to do that right now. I'm going to exit to desktop. And I'm going to minimize this back down. So those are the main things, guys. Definitely check out uh, the data center that you're connecting to and put on your frames per second limit in your properties for Apex. The other option that you can do is... Um, check your speed make sure that you're you've got good internet connection also limit some of your graphic settings if you're too high and it's stretching your gpu too far then you're going to hit lag 
and also stutter and freeze and all that kind of fun stuff. So start off, drop all your settings down, slowly build them up. The main one is the frames per second at 85 and the um, data center. The other thing you want to do if you're not up to date is come down here, especially if you have an NVIDIA graphics card. If I click on this guy here, right click it, NVIDIA GeForce Experience. Click on that. You want to make sure your drivers are up to date. You click on drivers. I'm at 430.39. I just updated this, I want to say an hour ago, April 23rd, 2019. So I still have to test this driver out. I was previously on 425 uh, and it worked great. Um, some people are rolling back to the 417s and other older drivers just to make it work because some of the drivers were crashing. If you're having trouble updating this, like you click on check for updates, mine's already updated, so it says you have the latest driver. If you click on this and you're getting an error with NVIDIA for your driver installing it, uh, what I want you to do is get a program called DDU. I can show you what it looks like here. If I go into here and downloads. DDU, I've got version 18.0.1.1. Anyways, you click on DDU open that up and it's a display driver uninstaller so you want to be in safe mode to uninstall your driver so what you want to do is go down here and here and then you're going to hold your left shift button and click restart while holding sh your left shift down that will reboot your computer into safe mode you open ddu uninstall your nvidia driver um, then you come back in uh, do the GeForce experience and reinstall. When it gives you the option for express installation or custom, always choose custom. Then click the box down below where it says that you want to do a, uh, I think it's like full removal or clean install. That's what it is, clean install. Thank you. Um, so click on clean install and that will again try to remove old drivers and everything and then reinstall it a lot of people are having issues when they go into geforce experience to try to update their driver and says the driver doesn't work or not compatible it is compatible um, just the damn programs and being finicky so try those things guys try those things out guys uh, you won't have near the as many crashes or lags um, and uh, you shouldn't be crashing at all if you do uh, lower a couple settings. I'm going to go in because it's a brand new driver. I'm going to test it out. I got frames per second max 85. Let's go. Ooh, I'll try 100. I'll save that. And I'll try it out and I'll see how it goes. If I start getting even the odd crash once a day, once every two days, I'll drop back down to 85 where I don't have any crashing. All right, guys. Enjoy. Have fun. Happy streaming. Like, subscribe. Also, if you want any other videos on how to, whether it comes to Streamlabs, Apex Legends, uh, tweaking your computer, getting higher frames per second, anything like that, leave a comment down below. Let me know uh, what you want to see, and hopefully I can do a video for you guys. All right, peace. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.